Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Sockbot. Uh, welcome to our bed. Um, if you've ever watched one of my TikToks, you've probably seen this before, but the reason that I'm here today is I am working in my bed today. This is often where I work because it's where I feel most comfortable, I guess. But um, yeah, I wanted to talk about a lot of things recently, and uh, I'm just trying to film where I can and what I can. So today, we're going to be talking about the Game Builder Garage because for one, well, it looks amazing, and for two, I had uh, two separate people send this to me. One was my boyfriend Dave, and the other one was my friend Camden, and they're both wonderful, wonderful people, uh, even more so for being so sweet as to think of me when seeing something like this. But I do talk a lot about game creation and game creation tools in general on this channel, so if that's something that interests you, feel free to like the video, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more, but no pressure as always. Um, and if you haven't seen this specific trailer yet, um, I first saw it on the Nintendo channel. I'm not sure if that's where everybody else is seeing it, but it does look really, really cool. It looks a lot like Little Big Planet, and uh, well, yeah, that's that's why I'm here talking about it. But it's cool, particularly because it, it directs it towards kind of teaching people the idea of logic within games and within uh, that sort of programming, which is how I learned it through Little Big Planet. Um, and a lot of those skills are really transferable to coding, um, which I've been learning in my professional job too. So uh, definitely really excited for this, and I'm always excited for new tools like this. So let's get right into it. I'm going to be stopping and starting, like I said, so if you uh, want to go watch this, I'll leave the description uh, link down below, and um, maybe go watch that before you watch this if you don't want to be bothered by me stopping and starting, and then come back here if you want to see me talk about it a little bit. But let's get into it. I'm starting now. Um, again, yes, this is very janky setup, I know that. It also looks really cute, which I'm excited about. Okay, first pause, and I'm only going to pause a few times. I got to say, my first reaction to this was, wow, it looks a lot like Little Big Planet, but also it, it just kind of looks like uh, generic non-texture video gaming, so I guess that's not surprising. So I want to say right here, just first uh, reaction was that it looks like Little Big Planet. Second was, I love how they're actually making a style in this. It's really cute, and I think that that's something that uh, was a pretty big drawback of Dreams for some people was that without like a generic style or something for people to latch onto, like Little Big Planet had with its aesthetic and how cute it was. Um, I think that's one of the things that uh, kind of not threw people off. Yeah, probably threw people off. Um, when they were trying to figure out what Dreams was if they didn't actually know the backstory um, and the fact that it was created by Media Molecule, but really excited for that. And also, never ever make uh, obstacles like this where you have to jump over something that is square, that is deadly, because they are always more difficult than they look, and uh, round them out if you're going to do this. But having worked with a lot of grid levels in Little Big Planet, don't do this. <laughs> I know it's just a demonstration. <laughs> Also, one more quick thing. Uh, there's constant there. That, that was something that was mentioned. That means that there's going to be variables in this, which is something that people were really not happy that Little Big Planet didn't introduce eventually, and something that works in Dreams, but not quite how it works in a lot of other games because you already have to use workarounds. But uh, yeah, variables are a huge part of game design that are super, super, super important and very, very useful to do a vast number of things that uh, if if you haven't used them before, it's it's hard to explain. But like literally everything, and variables just mean uh, like something that is triggered by something to change a variable to a different number. And once that number changes, you can then set that value to affect various other circumstances. But very 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 short TLDR. Um, that's a big deal, and it's something that Little Big Planet didn't have, which is pretty exciting. Tutorials, yes. Okay. 
Okay, so like a few quick things right there. There was textures involved. Not sure how that's going to work, but that is, again, very similar. Sorry for the loud noise outside. That is very similar to traditional game design. Really exciting to see that, even if all the examples here are a little bit basic and pixelated, but that might have to do with like, you know, a, the the thermometer or whatever it's going to be called in here, just the level of stuff that can be loaded at once. Um, so it's not super surprising that that's a thing. But honestly, I kind of like that aesthetic. Is that weird? Okay, so a lot of a lot of feelings, a lot of reactions. I'm gonna close this so I'm not in bright red, but I think it looks really good. And I know that a lot of people are gonna see like just the games that they created there and be like, well, that was a lot of basic stuff, and some of the textures were a little bit pixely, and that's fine if those are your reactions. You could have whatever reactions you want, but I think that this looks like one of the most complex uh tools that we have seen since Little Big Planet. Now, obviously, I can already tell you that Dreams has more options than this, just because it does look like there's some kind of limit um, that is why these games don't look like perfect. Like, I feel like in Dreams, you can invite people to kind of make games within it and they'll be able to create some beautiful stuff. And that's kind of what we saw in the marketing for Dreams was a lot of different, like really pretty sculptures and stuff. But for this specifically, I'm kind of glad that they're appealing to people that like these kind of game design tools because it looks simple and they're able to show off how simple it is right in a trailer, which is not something that I think Dreams did a great job of. Now, I might see sound like I'm being very critical of Dreams. I'm obviously in love with the game. I always have been. And uh, I got to mention that whoever was really working on this, the studio within Nintendo, because it is published by Nintendo, um, I actually think it might be made by Nintendo, but it has a big company behind it, but it also doesn't have a huge collection of creators uh, from like it, when in Little Big Planet they would release the beta and had a bunch of people create stuff in the beta and then Little Big Planet 2, 3, and Dreams all had a lot of marketing material around people that were from the community or people within Media Molecule who were used to using tools like this. And I think that's one of the reasons why this looks maybe a little bit basic. And also one of the reasons why I really hope that there's gonna be like a story mode trailer with a story mode because that's so important. And we know that because like I said, it needs to have personality, which it's got, it's got amazing personality. But if they have story mode too, that'll draw people in who aren't necessarily just getting it for the creation aspect, which is really cool. And I think that's almost, so there's there's one more part to this um, that I kind of thought of last night after I watched this for the first time. And that has to do with like sharing. And I think that we can say pretty much for sure that you're gonna be able to share your creations. It would be ridiculous if you couldn't. Although I guess if any company would do something silly like that, it would be Nintendo. But if they were able to do it for Super Mario Maker, I cannot imagine you wouldn't be able to share your creations. That would kind of ruin the whole point of this and definitely bring it down a bunch of notches in my book. But um, let's let's hope that, as I would 99% expect, that it's going to be shareable. Um, I think one of the reasons why they may not have mentioned that in this trailer was because a lot of these tools are very like normal logic stuff that you could see in a number of other systems, not just limited to Little Big Planet, but like with the wires, with the cutesy aesthetic. It's not the same aesthetic as Little Big Planet, but they're definitely like in the same genre of of game and also in the same like gameplay wise, like they're both in the cutesy uh, sort of made for all audiences section and also in the game design section. So it's not surprising that they're kind of maybe trying to avoid the play, create, share monomer that, or monomer, tr trinomer, is that a word? That little big planet used for all of its existence um, because that's definitely copyrighted by Sony and I'm sure that they don't want to be sued. Um, that was my first reaction to why they didn't mention sharing in this, but also again, really important thing to include is multiplayer because for stuff like this a lot of things that people like to do is to show off creations with other people and something that works really well for creations that are largely community created that are don't have the same level of polish as say a triple a game or a game that was made by an indie dev and then published by nintendo um a good part of that is being able to enjoy it with other people and kind of revel in 
the coolness of it, not just as a game, like the games that people create are cool in general by themselves, but also just the amazing ability for people to create stuff like this on a Nintendo Switch. It's always baffling. It's always really cool. It's like when you when you find like people making really cool stuff in Microsoft Paint or like in one of the, the reason that all of those drawing apps that you see on iPad will show off these crazy drawings that artists have done using their tools because it's always really impressive to see that. And that's like something that's fun to do in multiplayer. It's something that's fun to share with other people. So those are the two most important aspects that aren't in this trailer that I really hope are part of the game, but we'll just have to wait to find out. Again, I know this was a short trailer, but this this is something I'm more excited for than I've been for any other creation tool that's come out recently, and that includes Mario Maker. I love Mario Maker, but honestly, I would rather just create in dreams compared to Mario Maker. No offense to Mario Maker and people that create within it because it's an amazing tool and I love playing it. And uh, people didn't create, I wouldn't be able to play it. But yeah, I think I just guilt myself into making dreams content because that's a lot of what this channel is about. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm definitely going to post more videos about this when it comes out literally next month, which is my birthday month, which is so exciting and a month from today. But uh, I hope you guys like this uh, sort of smaller video that's not exactly quicker because I had a lot to say. But have a great day if I'm talking fast. And if this is a weird background, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, I already apologize for that. Am I apologizing too much? Sorry for apologizing too much. <laughs> have a wonderful day, guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. So long.